Hello and welcome to another installment of Mr. ACAT Tutorials. Today we'll be learning how to create this tool in 3D AutoCAD. Over here on the left hand side I have the dimensions we'll be using for today. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. First off, I'm going to open up a new drawing. And I want to make sure I am in 3D AutoCAD. To make sure I'm in 3D AutoCAD, go to the gear at the bottom right. Click on that. Make sure you're in 3D modeling. Your ribbon should look just like the ribbon I have up here. And now we're going to go ahead and we're going to click on the little house up here to change our UCS, which is our coordinate system. I'm going to zoom out a little bit. And right here, what I'm doing with the little hand is panning. You can do that by clicking on your mouse wheel, actually clicking it down, not scrolling, but clicking it. And we're going to start with this top part right here. It's 30 by 30 square. I'm going to start at 0, comma, 0. Enter. Let me say it was 30 by 30, so 30. Tab on my keyboard, 30. Enter. And then you notice how these little squares right here are 3.5 inches down from the edge and 3.5 inches in to the left from the edge as well. And there's four of these. And each one is 4 by 4. So we're going to go ahead and now we're going to go to the top view again. And we're going to start from this edge, this corner, and go down three and a half, three point five. 3.5, enter, across 3.5. I just noticed that this should be a lock in here, so the, this polar tracking, make sure that's turned on. And then it should snap every 30 degrees. So we'll oh, make sure it's turned on by clicking on it, there we go. So again, 3.5 reset. Now we're going to go ahead and create that little box, the 4 by 4 So we're going to click on the end point there. And we're going to go 4, tab, 4, enter. We're also going to create little circles inside. So I'm going to go ahead and go to circle down here and go to 3 point circle. I know it has to touch that point. It touches this point and it touches this point of my square. Now I'm going to go ahead and delete these two lines I drew here, which I no longer need. Delete those two. I'm going to highlight both my circle and my square. And I'm going to mirror. So I can just type the mirror command. I'm going to mirror about the center point over here. And then click on down here. So now the erase source object. No, we don't want to erase the original one. I'm going to highlight both of these, and with the same thing, I'm going to mirror. Now I'm about to mirror about this other center point here. Erase source object, no. So I'm going to go back to the little house over here to change my UCS, and I'm going to click on extrude. I'm going to go ahead and click on that square, press enter. You notice here the extrusion. How tall this little this bench part is, is three, three inches. So three inches, enter. Now I'm gonna change this right here, that's my visual style from 2D wireframe to shaded with edges so we can see that we've built an actual 3D object here. And what I'm doing is I'm holding down shift and clicking my mouse wheel to be able to orbit like this. So now I'm looking at it from the bottom and I'm going to use this other command called press pull. And I'm going to press pull these circles here to create holes. Just click on them, click up, and it creates holes. Just click on this inside area. So it's important that you don't click on the actual circled line. You click on the inside area and then just go up. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to select my squares now. So click on that square. On that square, click on all my squares. So let's see if I can click this other one as well. There it is. Click on that one. One more to go. There you go. I clicked all four now. So what we're going to do now? We're going to extrude. But we're going to extrude the legs down, and you see over here, the height of those legs is 45 inches. So I'm going to go ahead and type in 45. Enter.
And you notice I have little holes up here. So now we're going to use the press pull command again. But instead of using it to create holes, now we're going to use it to bring the legs up to the surface here. So we'll type in three. We're going to click on that inside area and type in three, enter. And type in three, enter. And then one more time. Now you might be asking, why did you do, why did you press pull and press pull again? Well, now when I click on the leg, you see that that peg is actually part of the leg as well now. You see when I click on that peg, it's part of the leg. And then this is separate. Right. So now we're almost done. We're about halfway there. One thing we've got to do as well is give this little curve right here. And that's called fillet. So we use the command fillet edge. So fillet edge. Now ask us to select an edge. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to select this vertical edge right here. And then I'm going to click on this radius. And it's going to ask me how big to make that. For this one, let's go ahead and leave it as one. Just press enter. If you wanted to change it, you can change it. Or you can just leave it as one. Enter. Enter one more time. And then one third enter. Enter. There you go. And see, so we'll do the same thing for the, all the other edges that you want to, that you're willing to fill it. So you notice here the legs are also a little bit rounded. So we will go ahead and fill up those as well. But before you can fill up those, you notice there is a little, uh, a little leg rest right here that we're going to need to go ahead and accommodate for as well. So we're going to go back to the bottom over here. And I'm going to draw a line. You notice how this right here is two inches thick. So from the middle, like right here, we're going to go up one inch and we're going to go down one inch from there. So I'm going to go to the line command. I'm going to make sure, I'm going to zoom in a little bit, make sure it snaps right there and then we'll go this way one inch enter this way back two inches again enter and what i'm going to do now is i'm going to go ahead and go to the box command it's going to ask me where you want your first starting point right here where i ended my other point is going to be over here, where I end it as well, two inches across. I'm going to go all the way across over here. And this one right here, the thickness here should be two, we said. So two, tab, and then this length here in between should be 15. You see right there, 15. Enter. And now we'll help. How far down do we go? We're going to go ahead. You see right here, it says go down five inches. So five inches now. Enter. That creates that. So now you can do the same concept for the other three sides as well. And then you would do the same thing for the bottom part. So let's go ahead and do the bottom part. So I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to go to line. And then you notice that there's 18.6 from the bottom. It's where it starts. And then this part right here is uh, 3.4. So this part right here is 3.4. So I'm going to go ahead and click right here at the bottom. Go up 18.6. And then same thing I'm gonna go in across one inch because the bottom was also two inches thick remember it's just two inches thick right here and our leg is four inches so we have to go one inch in from each side so one inch it's gonna give me a little line right there again we'll use a box command click on that endpoint right there The thickness here we said should be two. Tab. 
the height here should be 3.4, 3.4, enter. And then across should be 15. We'll go ahead and type in 15, enter. So what I want to do now to make my life a little bit easier, so I'm going to go ahead and just select the 3D objects I just created, all of them. And I'm going to go ahead and use a little red arrow and move them across. The reason why I'm doing this is because you see I left behind this 2D sketches that I used. Now I can go ahead and delete these so they don't get in the way when I'm trying to do my fillets. So we're almost done here. I'll, I'll let you do the other three sides, just same concept. Now let's go ahead and do the fillet on the legs. So fillet edge. Select the edge. So you click right here. You click the radius. So if you want to change it, you can type in 0.5 if you like. Enter. Go ahead and just press enter. Enter one more time. And it does that one. So again, if you want to do multiple at the same time, you go to fillet edge. Select all of them. So click that one. Click that one. Click. Click enter. Enter. And you notice how these are have nice round edges now. So the last thing we're gonna do to make it look like the stool we had over here is we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna change the color. And we're gonna do that by changing the material of it. We go to R mat, R M A T command. And select the wood you want to use. So go ahead and go over here where it says um, materials. You can go ahead and choose different types of woods out of this library. Let's go to wood, and here are all the woods. I can go ahead and just click on it and drag it over. So I can go ahead and click on like this one for my legs. And then the last thing we have to do. Is we're going to go over here to shade with edges. We're going to go to realistic. And that gives it that realistic look. I uh, forgot what, which one I changed, chose for my legs. So let's go ahead and do this first one right here. There you go. And then the little knobs don't turn color. There you go. Just go ahead and just drag it. Again, just go ahead and click whatever you want to shade in. Let's go ahead and, let's, for example, you want to do this one a different color. Let's not do cardboard, let's do cherry. And then to get, get the little extra extra touch of realistic, we're going to use the RC command, which is render crop. We're going to go ahead and crop our picture here. So that's how you do the stool here. Same concept that we did for this leg, we're going to use for the other three sides. Hope you guys enjoyed that tutorial. If you have any questions, comment down below and I'll answer those as soon as possible. Thank you.